Hey guys, it's Anna, and uh, it is Friday morning. Today I chose to sleep in and not do my workout, taking it a rest day. I am going to go ahead and turn the camera over here on me. Wow. <laughs> I have to learn to do that uh, not so close to the camera. Okay. Let's see who's coming in. Hi, Karen. Hi, Patricia. Oh, my goodness. My mom is on. Jackie Burton. She needs to do a scope. What do you think, right? All right. So, welcome to... Oh, my goodness. I muted. Hold on. Note, when you do a scope, do not put the holder over your volume. There we go. Hi, guys. Good morning. How are you? I, uh, let's see, I might have to add Periscope to my list of distractions very soon. I totally, totally understand. Okay, so let's get started because as you know, for those of you who uh, are just getting started on Periscope, the key to success on Periscope is coming up with good topics, right? Um, we don't want to bore people. So... That is my topic for today because I want to help you guys come up with a uh, your topics to talk about. So welcome, Sunny Chrissy. Um, welcome to the to to my morning, um, my morning scope. One thing you guys I learned I was not actually this topic, but I learned um, yesterday about being consistent with your scope. So. Um, I, that's my goal is to do at least two to three scopes a day. And, um, I, I love you too, Mel. Thank you for sharing. If you guys want to share this before I give the tips, go ahead and swipe right or left on your iPhone and click share or up or up on your Android and click share. Cause I would love to help. Um, I know that this is a struggling topic. I know people are struggling with I am not, you know, what, what do I have to share? What I realized is that everybody knows something to share, but how do we come up with a good topic? So I'm going to share my three top tips for coming up with uh, Periscope topics. So if you like that idea, tap on your little screen. Let's see. Let's see how many people like this idea. I see some hearts. I see some more hearts. Let's see if Jackie Burton can tap on the screen because, you know, she she has to. <laughs> tap on the screen. Okay, awesome. All right. So uh, let's see. Let's get started. Let me, let me first say that I'm going to watch this replay and realize how I kept saying, uh. Okay, three topics. There are three, three topics. Oh my God, I'm totally blowing this. I need more coffee. Uh, okay, let's say Number one, reflect on what you did yesterday. So take a look at what you did yesterday. Was there something that you had to give yourself a virtual high five? Like, yes, I did that. I know for me, it was funny. For me, it was in my car getting ready to do my 5:30 scope and I was looking in my glove compartment thing and I have this new um, holder that I'm actually I have my phone in right now and I looked and I found this other holder that I suctioned on, up on the window I was like oh my gosh this is the coolest thing so I was like I need to do a scope on iPod holders or I, iPhone holders and there's a topic, right? So what happened yesterday? Go through your mind and think about what you gave yourself an internal high five for. Because if you did, yes, you did. You won part of the Revive group. So now, Angela, you can think about how you did that and how you can share that on Periscope. Because someone wants to know. Um, so think about yesterday. It could be anything, honestly. I mean, that was like a aha moment for my little suction cup. Um, 
So reflect on yesterday. That's my number one tip. And I'm going to tell you guys, because I know a lot of you are coaches on my team, I'm going to give you a tip to share in other Periscope uh, broadcasters. If someone gives you a tip, then just type it in and help other people because they may be catching this uh, after the fact. So what was the number one tip? Someone? Anyone? Type it in. Anyone? Reflect on yesterday. Okay. So that would be my number one tip. Reflect on yesterday. The Miss the question? The question is in my top tips. My number one, my three tips for Periscope topics. So that was number one. You little sillies. Okay. The title of the... <laughs> The title of this scope is my top three tips for Periscope uh, topics. Number one was reflect on yesterday. Find your number one topic. Okay. Number two is reflect on the last hour. What did you do in the last hour that, again, you can give yourself a virtual high five? Uh, for example, I was creating something on my computer on PicMonkey, and I had this aha moment. Or, what am I doing right now? I'm telling you the top three tips for Periscope topics. I looked at my list of Periscope topics and I thought, well, how did I come up with this list? And that is exactly how I came up with this topic. So, what were the, what were the number, number one and two tips that I just gave for Periscope topics. I'm training you guys to help other people on other Periscope broadcasts. Reflect on yesterday. We reflect on the last hour. Awesome. Perfect. Yes. Thank you for sharing. So you guys get used to sharing that on other people because it really helps those people out that are hopping on late because they missed it. And I'm going to go ahead and recap at the end. But, uh, okay, number three would be... Scroll your social media. For me, it's Facebook. Scroll your social media for five minutes and find three questions people are asking that you can answer. Okay? So three, I need to give myself more virtual high fives. Right. You do. You have to. You think about it. You're, there are many times in my head where I was like, yes. So think about that during the day. Um, so scroll through your social media and find three questions people are asking that you can answer, okay? I'm going to give you an example of this. I went to Danielle Natoni's Facebook page the other day because she has the ability to broadcast live on her Facebook page, and I scrolled her page not to find people, but to find out what people are asking and come up with three questions that I can answer. And guess where I put those? In my iPhone notes under Periscope Topics. So what's number three? Share, my friends, for those people who are just jumping on. I welcome Ingrid Thrives. There are some people who can stream live. It's There is no rhyme or reason as to... Why they can stream live, it's not a certain number. Uh, if you Google it, Google's your friend. I Googled it the other day. There really is no rhyme or reason. But that is why Periscope is so important because I will bet you that you will be able to stream live at some point. Okay, so now is the time to practice on Periscope and come up with topics so that when, when that comes live for you, you're ready to go. Okay. Tips, reflect upon yesterday, reflect upon the last hour, what did you deserve to high five for? Those are the first two tips. And then number three was scroll your Facebook and find three questions that people are asking, okay? If you found those three topics or those three, three tips helpful, would you guys um, give me some hearts so that I, okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. And then if you haven't shared and you found this helpful, then I would say, can you please share? Kim said Facebook Live was for stars. Yeah, uh, Jean and Moses. It really is. I, you know, I was looking into it because I have 12,000 likes on my like page. 
Um, but there is no number. It really is, uh, there are kind of some criteria, like if you, um, that you have to be a verified like page. So if you are a verified like page, then you can stream live. To be a verified like page, there is no real rhyme or reason. If you have the ability to be um, impersonated, that was one of them. Um, I forget the other two criteria. So it's not really set in stone. But the more people on Periscope, because Periscope is a Twitter product, the more people on Facebook We'll start talking about Periscope, and guess what? Now that we know that there's the ability, whoa, I lost you guys. Okay, so much for that iPhone holder. Um, we know we have the ability on Facebook to live stream now, right? So it's coming, you guys. It's coming. So let's just perfect our scopes, and if you're not doing a scope, then get up and do it because I'm looking at myself right now, and I know how many things I need to perfect um, in my next, and fix and do better in my next scopes because one is this iPod holder, two is my makeup, <laughs> and three is stop saying um and really being more focused. Okay, I actually did write down my notes here, you guys. Make sure you write down your notes on what you want to topic, top, talk about, but shoot, I'm just me. Hello, welcome to those that are just joining. So I'm going to go ahead and recap one more time on what the three tips were for coming up with Periscope topics. Uh, and uh, Ingrid, day two on Periscope, just trying to figure it out. Yeah, you know what? That's the thing is kind of check out other people's scopes and then just do one because I'm telling you, they're not going to be perfect. And in the beginning... You really have your friends watching, so it's okay to screw up, you know, and it's just, you know, and then just be unapologetically you. Okay, so I'm going to recap those three tips real quick. You're welcome. Thank you for commenting on here. I mean, that's the other thing is don't hide. People, if you have the ability to comment, comment, because what you'll do is you'll communicate with those who are on here and really develop relationships, and that's what we are all in this for is developing relationships and friendships. So use that comment section. Okay, number one tip for coming up with a Periscope topic is reflect on yesterday. What did you give yourself a virtual high five for? For me, it was finding an iPhone charger that I could suction to the window of my car so that I could do my Periscope and then just take it down when it's time to drive. Okay, so I was at soccer practice, it was perfect, the lighting was perfect, and I'm not, and I wasn't looking down, so note to self, this will change. Um, okay, so that was number one. Number two was reflect on something in the last hour that you did that you gave yourself a high five for. It could be anything, but something that you accomplished that you could share with somebody else. Okay, that is a perfect topic. All right, and then number three is scroll your Facebook and look for three questions that people are asking. What's up? Mrs. Butts is on. Hey. Um, scroll your Facebook and look for three questions people are asking that you can answer. And that, right there, are three topics. Write them down in your notepad on your phone, and you are good to go. So I want to thank you guys for jumping on this Periscope. Uh, not my best, but I appreciate you guys being on here, and I know I'm amongst friends. Uh, James, thank you for always hopping on here. I appreciate it. I really do. And um, <laughs> thank you, Michelle. Okay. Or I'm assume. I could be assume. I could be assuming things, right? All right. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, sign off now. I'm probably I'm going to do another Periscope later today on some other topics that fit uh, what I have to share because I love to teach. And I look forward to seeing you guys again. So have an awesome Friday, you guys. Bye.